Hey, what's up today? Capricorn Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel today. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, guys, I'm getting ready to do May. I keep on wanting to say June, so that's why I hesitated. Uh, May general readings for the month, and that's for 2019, obviously. So I'm shuffling the Essential Tarot card deck to do this reading. This is going to be a general reading, you guys. So I really hope that everybody that takes the time to watch the, the reading feels connected and that the video resonates, but chances are it might not. So just keep what you think applies to you and leave the rest for another viewer on the channel. Other than that, let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let me know what you think of the reading and definitely take a second to subscribe to the channel. That helps me out quite a bit. So I really appreciate that. I'm just doing a quick deck cut and then I'm going to shuffle probably a couple more times and then start pulling cards. So I'm going to do five anchor cards like in the top row and then five clarification cards to pull you guys a nice reading for the month of May. One more and then I'm going to be good to go. Okay, so the first card I have for you guys is the two of rods. So the two of rods is an indication that you're ready to get started on something and not just started, but actually put a plan into forward motion, into action. You've already done your planning. You're ready to move to the next level. Like I just, the way that this character is looking out, it, it's as if they believe that anything can happen and that that's a really really good mindset kind of a weird follow-up we've got four of swords here and as you can see here the person in the card is like laying down and resting they've hung their swords up um so this card is it resonates with the energy of taking a forced break like and actually forcing yourself to rest Got the seven of swords here guys so it looks like you have something going on in the background that could be exhausting you because seven swords is it's kind of a sneaky energy i think there could be somebody like opposing you and your brilliant plan what you want to do to move ahead with your life like look really closely at the character in this card he's got this kind of smirking facial expression and he's making way like a, a getaway with five swords and leaving two in the background i think somebody's trying to like stop you your plan your dream i don't know why yet let's keep pulling cards so i get the feeling that this is either happening right now or it's just come to an end for you because you've got the six of swords here you definitely are moving into a quieter time let me keep pulling cards I'm getting some like wild energies for the month of may like every reading i've done has been pretty deep so i really just need the time like without speaking to let the cards sink into me a little bit then we've got the page of pentacles so the pages you guys are messengers of the tarot and pentacles are related to finance so when we see the page matched with pentacles it's it's an indication that you're gonna receive some sort of financial endowment. I'm getting words in my head to use. I would never say endowment, actually. Um, or news of, I'm seeing a contract coming in for you guys, something that you've been waiting for. I think somebody has like, been getting in your way and trying to delay your path. I don't know why. If that's making sense, if this is happening to you guys, let me know in the comments. So I just know that the right people, like the people that this is meant for, it's 
they're hearing it because there's going to be some workaround or solution in the in the reading for you right so okay I'm gonna start pulling some clarifying cards. So we've got the two of rods and then we've got the page of rods. So it looks very much like the same character. Like when you look at these cards together, this is the two of rods and then this is the page of rods. So the pages though, they're our messenger. Um, and this is definitely something work related or project based. Um, This is like your your life's dream, your life's work. And it's like they have the same posture, you know, looking out into the future, like really like check out these cards and how similar they are. You guys, like your mindset is on point moving forward. Here, I'm just gonna go on pause for a second. Hey, sorry, I had a space heater going and I was starting to like burn up and like, uh, it was really distracting me. So, um, yeah, you're definitely on like the brink of something. It's like you're on the cusp of moving forward, but there's something or someone hindering you. The seven of swords is kind of, um, jumping out. So I'm going to skip the four of swords. I'm going to put a clarifying card right on the seven of swords. So it actually, I'm seeing here, I've got the seven of pentacles. It doesn't even matter what's going on with this person or this situation because you guys are so focused with the seven of pentacles that you're just going to bypass them. Like they're just, I think you're at such a high level right now with your ambitions, your dreams and goals, you're gonna like vibrate this person or the situation right out of your life, which just it just means that, you know, if you've got somebody that wants to like disrespect you or put your plans awry, that's a low level vibration. Um, when somebody is jealous or hateful, that's a low level vibration, but you guys, your vibration is really high because you are ambitious and I'm seeing a, a certain purity in your thoughts right now. You just have such a, like a high level of self belief so that your vibration is up here and whoever or whatever the situation is down here. So you're just going to, they're going to disappear because you're not even going to be on the same level as them. And they're going to see that you're unfazed and they're just going to sort of evaporate and go on to somebody that they think they can rattle. Because it doesn't, like, even if they get away with a chunk of your, I'm seeing emotions, you're going to be able to rise above that, like I said, with that high vibration. And whatever you're planning, it's like you've got somebody that's really carefully maintaining their plan and objective with the Seven of Pentacles, which is planting the seeds now for your future and your family. So, and I just want you guys to also notice that you've got two sevens here. So if you believe in angel numbers, I think you should go and... Google angel number seven, seven, because there's an additional message in here directly from the angels for you. So I'm going to pull more cards. You've got the six of pentacles here, guys. So the six of pentacles is like a generosity. It means that either you have enough to help somebody else out or somebody is going to help you out. And I pulled this right underneath the Four of Swords. So I'm seeing, even though you're really goal setting at a high level, I see that you're also a little bit, little bit tired from dealing with whatever this situation or person was that was trying to hamper your um, ascension, right? Your 
whatever that is. I'm seeing, I think it's mostly related to finances, actually, business. So it has taken a little bit out of you, but somebody is going to come in and they're going to be the direct opposite of the person that was trying to, to rattle your cage. And they want to help you. And they're going to, like, they're going to help raise that level for you. I hope that's making sense, you guys. Six of Swords. Yeah, so... I pulled the Six of Swords... Oh, sorry, Six of Swords, and then I pulled the Fool. So, so the Fool card here, let me show you the card, but I'm seeing just a bit of a progression here. Um, this is about taking your journey and being like clear-headed and high expectation and moving forward and having faith in all of that. But there, there is going to be a little bit of a moment where you're ready to go. You know, you've got your plan, you're feeling really solid, but then somebody's gonna deliberately try to throw you off. And I'm thinking for some of you also, um, I'm just getting an insight here that you could be trying to start a new relationship also, and somebody's gonna try and disrupt that. I'm just seeing a disruption. Somebody is coming in and they're trying to disrupt your abundance, your success. It's not going to work, but it's going to throw you off a little bit. Like you're going to wonder, like, why are you even doing this right now? Right? Like for people that are like good intentioned and good people, we don't understand why somebody comes at you like, what are you doing right now? Right? But somebody is going to also protect you. And if they can't protect you, they're going to lift you back up again. They're going to give you that helping hand. So, and then you're going to end up moving away from that, that energy, like this kind of, this is, this feels really sneaky to me. It's like somebody that has nothing better to do with their life except for sabotage people that are well-meaning and just want to have a good life, right? And do good things for other people. But you're definitely going to be, moving away from that and then you'll be back to this type of energy with the fool and again like this this is so much like the page of rods here you can just look at the characters they're so similar right they're just they're sunny they're a sunny person you can feel that sort of I'm getting the word like clean and I'm, I'm getting that in the, the vibration. Your aura is very pure. Like you have a good heart and you, you don't want to deal with any of this and it's, it's throwing you off. If it hasn't happened, then it, I think it's going to. So you need to be prepared for that a little bit and just know that it's nothing that you're doing. And then under the page of pentacles, I pulled the nine of cups. And the nine of cups is like definitely a celebratory card. If you look at this, and I think he's like this cute little like shopkeeper or bartender at a pub or whatever, and he's just all rosy cheeked and he's having a great time and he is aspected underneath the page of pentacles. So you've got something coming in that is gonna make you super happy. I think it's just going to be this like this good riddance to this this thing, this person. I didn't mean to say thing, but you know, this nuisance that has been happening. And like, it's a deliberate attempt at disrupting your success and it's not deserved. It's just that that is what happens sometimes. Like if you look, you know, all you have to do is look at social media and somebody could post something really nice and heartwarming. And then there's some troll just waiting in the wings to, tear them down and this is what this is going to be like it's just going to be some troll so like don't worry about the troll right because it's like you have almost like an angel coming in like an earth angel with the six of pentacles to 
help set things back on course. It's not going to last long. And then you can just be on your merry way. Yeah. So whatever that energy is, it's going to change very quickly. It's going to be like a blip on your radar, you guys. So like the overall tone here is that you guys definitely need to rise above. Mm, don't stoop to somebody else's tactics, especially if they're being like a, you know, use your own word, word here, but to describe this, but it, it's going to fade away and you're going to do a really good job and then you're just going to move on because you got the chariot. So you can use that energy to move forward and you definitely do have support here. So for some of you, it's going to be a romantic relationship. Somebody's going to try and smear your name. Um, with a potential partner or if you currently have a partner somebody's gonna make up I think it's a vicious rumor and if, for business related somebody's just gonna try and like throw a wrench into a deal that you're trying to make but you're gonna take the high road you're gonna rise above it and you're gonna be absolutely successful and you're gonna be really glad that you didn't stoop to their level so um Keep on shining, you guys. This is a great reading. Um, just that whatever happens, and I just love the way that this character has their chin up. So definitely keep your chin up no matter what comes out of the woodwork at you because it's sometimes to be expected, um, unfortunately, and you're just going to have to deal with it, and then you can just walk on away. So I hope this was a really helpful reading for you guys. So I'm going to leave it there, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye for now. Bye.